What's up, everybody? War here. Welcome back to the channel. The long-awaited wizard builds I have for you. I've been waiting so long to put these out because my chat has been voting for me not my community's been voting for me not to play wizard in season 28 but we only got two classes left to vote on but i had to bring you guys the two builds one for t16 and then the other one's going to be for meteor speeds which we're going to do in a separate video now i know everybody if you're playing season 28 this is by far one of the strongest if not the strongest build in the game so i'm going to go over my t16 variant because it is very very fast and just kind of showcase how to play it and then how strong this build is especially for t16 farming so as you guys already know tal rashes you need all six elements here or all six pieces you're going to get a big damage increase for all four elements and a big damage reduction for all four elements as an all resist which is really great i'm sure everybody knows that now what i've done differently for t16 is i've combined it with the aug duels for the increased damage and reduced damage especially against elites and then I have paired it with Pride's Fall. The resource costs are reduced by 30% after not taking damage for five seconds. We're gonna be up close and personal, but this should always be in effect because we are gonna be spamming teleport like crazy. Uh, so we combined it with that and it's gonna help reduce the cost of our Aether Walker. So on top of that, of course, we have Aether Walker. Teleport no longer costs, has a cooldown, but it costs 25 RK and, and we're gonna be spamming this like crazy. We should never have to cast any of our other spells here. You could manually cast Meteor if you really, really wanted to, but you shouldn't have to. So we have Aether Walker to get around really fast. And then of course with the boots, guys, you increase damage of the Meteor by 600%. And then if it hits fewer than less, I got a really crappy roll, but it's up to 900%. Um, I have also combined it with the Tal Rasha Amulet to complete the six piece. And you're may, you may be asking like, oh crap, Warlock, what are you doing, man, Squirts? Don't worry, guys, it's right here in the queue. Uh, of course, Stone Jordan, because of all of our elemental buffs, we're hitting with all the elements. Now for T16, I'm running the Ring of Royal Grandeur to pair all this together so I can put Squirts in here. Otherwise, we would rock COE, but that's gonna be in our speed variant for GRs. So what also makes this build really, really good is the addition of the Cosmic Strand, which you can craft at the Blacksmith. It's a plan that you can get from doing bounties and teleport gains the Wormhole Room. So Wormhole is after you cast teleport, you have three seconds to cast it for free a second time. So what happens is, is that we cast teleport at 25 cooldown or 25 arcane. Then we get teleport again for free and then it costs 25 again. So we basically get a free teleport every time we do this, which will help on our arcane costs here. So this build makes it very, very fast. Now our gems are gonna be Bane of the Trapped, of course, Zaya Stone of Vengeance, which is really good, and then uh, Boon of the Hoarder. Now you may be asking like, oh crap, you have Zaya Stone of Vengeance, even though you're gonna kind of be up close. This isn't gonna matter. We're gonna be dealing so much damage because you're gonna be teleporting in and out of groups of mobs and they'll automatically have meteors cast down. So when you teleport out, you should get the big damage buff. You guys could correct me on that, but uh, we, we're rocking Zaya Stone of Vengeance here. If you really didn't want to rock this, you could do Bane of the Powerful, which is just fine. Uh, into the cube, of course, guys, you can't do these builds without the Grand Visor. Reduces meteor, arcane cost of meteor by 50% and increased damage. And then, of course, in the helm, you have Mempho of Twilight. Meteor Shower Rune is applied to all cast meteors and deals 400% increased damage. So we don't get the Meteor Shower, which as you see here, all of it all over the place, but you do get the increased damage. Now you can manually cast this, but teleport is gonna be doing everything. And then of course, score cycles for even more damage. So let's get into a couple of skills because they are different and passives for this build. We wanna be fast, but also not give up too much damage. So instead of, uh, instead of storm armor, because we're not rocking a halo, we are doing ice armor frozen storm so we get this cloud around us to help do our cold we have our meteor thunder crash for lightning we have teleport calamity which hits a wave for arcane and then we have the familiar spark plant for fire now the other two additions to this class which is really going to help is diamond skin diamond skin prism which will reduce the cost which is good and then magic weapon conduit so when our meteors are hitting we're going to get arcane uh, power back now, on top of Magic Weapon, guys, in your Cosmic Strand, try to get the critical hits. Uh, grants four, cane, four Arcane Power up to, it's up to four. So that way you can, it'll help get some more Arcane back when you do crits. Into our passives, we have Audacity because we were doing more damage to people within 15 yards. Uh, Galvanizing Ward for a shield because we don't have Halo. 
uh, illusionist for even more speed after we use um, teleport we get the movement speed increase which is fantastic on top of our boon of the hoarder and then of course elemental exposure for even more damage okay so that is the build we're going to go in and do a nephilim rift and i want to show you guys how this works so when we first get in here we're going to pop ice armor magic weapon and spark or familiar spark flint these are all 10 minutes so you should only have to hit these once after that all we're going to be doing is spamming diamond skin and teleport uh when you first get in you're going to manually cast your thundercraft meteor and then you shouldn't have to do it after that so let's roll so hit all these up right hit that we got a really bad map and see you just you just dash around you just dash around let your meteors do all the work which is awesome you're looking for some elites if we can find them there we go there goes some elites about time even though it's the squishy dudes which i hate now if you want to manually cast because you feel like you're not getting um any of your stuff oh this is good you know all of your elements feel free but you shouldn't have to you should rarely run out of um what is it your arcane power even though you're dashing around because you should just be destroying mobs and moving on you don't even have to pay attention to these guys um you know dying you just let you just let your meteors do all the talking for you now with the elites you are gonna have to double back kind of and um you know pick up your nodes but otherwise you're pretty solid you just dash around kill everything and again, you can manually cast if you really want to, guys. The build is so incredible. We're just going to move on. Another barricade here. I'm okay with that. Just dash through all this. Right? We don't care. We're just moving. The build is super fun. Super fun. I mean, you want to talk about speed, man. There's no... I mean, you're casting meteors and just teleporting all over the place. <laughs> And then when you get to your oh i died but when you get i dashed into that port but when when he spawns you can just literally just manually cast uh your meteors and just kill him and boom i dashed right into that little explosion there good thing i'm not playing hardcore characters but that is the t16 wizard guys it's super super powerful even in t16s it is super fast and all your damage is done through meteor Again, once you manually or put these up for 10 minutes, you never have to use them again. You manually cast Thunder Crash once, and then you just spam these two, and that's it. You absolutely annihilate all of the rift, like everything. You annihilate everything. You get the gold for the extra movement speed when you're running around. Now, if you really wanted to and you don't feel the need to rock Ring of Royal Grandor here, you could uh, put COE in and then drop Squirt's Necklace and put uh, Royal, Royal, Royal Ring of Grandor in here and just be fine. Um, also, if you don't think you need the Pride's Fall, then just wear the helmet, swap uh, Ring into Squirt's, and then just put COE back on here and then Squirt's up here. But that is the build, guys. This is my T16 variant for uh, Talrasha Meteors, and it's an absolute powerhouse. So again, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below, what do you guys think of the T16? And if you are playing Wizard, How's it going? Is everybody rocking GR 150s? Um, don't forget too, guys, that we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on uh, here on YouTube. Uh, so make sure to join us in there. The community is awesome. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.